Welcome back to Return to Crondor, where we're heading back into Chapter Looks Six. Looks like your plan succeeded, Will. So just load it so we get a little bit of dialogue this. first. They'll outnumber us. So if the fight goes badly, make for the river below. The river? Are you daft, Will? Those you cliffs are a waterfall. Fall, those rapids will drown a man quicker than you can say. Have at them, men! Have at them, men! There. Yes, those are cliffs. Let's see. Okay, we got. Not as good a view. That's a pretty good view. Yeah, that, that kind of cut off a little bit. So I think we'll start off here. Yeah, let's just wreck this archer. Oh, very good, William. Uh, and you're just. Oh, can you reach there? No. Let's move in to surround on that right flank. Uh, that's all you can do. And our turn. Oh, fire pot. He's got some health on him, though. Okay, so there is like kind of like a. Let's just show the range that you can do stuff. Now, I might be able to attack him after the move. Yes. It's something. Oh, he had a defense. Oh, no, that was his turn. It should work, I think. Oh, oh that's... You're going to focus fire me with fire pots? Ridiculous. Nice hit, though. Oh, you could... We have a strong, weak, weak. It's not great. Poison antidote. Um, these guys will take him out easy. Let's go for Axe Man. Oh, does Bear get a free attack? Of course he does. Good, good. Oh, half attack this guy. Nice flank. Oh, interesting. Is he gonna... Oh, he's attacking. Give him a unique voice attack. There we go. Oh. Can you reach? You can. Because these guys probably can't even hit bear. Probably lack the stats. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need to... Just at least try. Hopefully, Bear doesn't just. Oh no. We can do. Half move. Oh, then he could navigate. Cool. Good. No Bear defense to cause trouble. Okay. Good. You didn't focus Fire William for once. Well played, soldiers. Oh, Bear's gonna wreck him. <laughs> like, one round him. Good work. Aye. We're not done yet. Oh, that was a nice one. And then since Bear's here... Oh, he's got some armor on him. Do what you can, boys. It's 2v1. Not looking good. You call that an attack? <laughs> oh, my. You puny excuse for a soldier. William, he's immune to our weapons. Help! Can try a fire pot if he's immune to weapons. Good block. Yeah, quite honestly, if he's immune to weapons and you don't have abilities, you just need to go conservative and guard yourself. And fire pot. Uh, not 
really. Doesn't have repair. It's not gonna do me a whole ton. But at least keep myself alive. <laughs> oh what? I leveled up. Is that the best you can do, boy? Watch out! He's using magic! Uh oh. A good guess. But it comes too late to save your sorry band of would-be heroes. Make for the river, men! For the river! Abandon your armor. Have a swim. Right in the nose. Okay, so I guess I think that the combat ended, so that just gave me points to upgrade. So, two-hand defense is already there. Initiative. He's not using a shield. Just up the initiative. Um, what else would I want from our good friend? We give him brawl, yeah. Why not? That's the chapter. Tried thrice more to raise the ship, but each attempt met with the same result. Jazhara assumed that some sort of direct magical resistance in the area prevented Kandarik's spell from activating properly. She recalled the rumors of witchcraft and strange disappearances in the nearby town of Haldenhead. Perhaps we should head, head there. This has gone on long enough. She must be stopped. You should have had those soldiers execute her when they were here. You've no proof, Alton. With all the pain we've gone through, you want to cause more? You keep this up, Maya, and there won't be a town anymore. Lyle told me that anymore. Lyle is a drunk. And if he thinks we are going to... Looks like we've got visitors. Welcome to Haldenhead, strangers. Will you be staying long? Not if they know what's good for them. Alton, there's other business you'd best be attending. We'll talk about this later, Mayor. By the heavens, we will. I apologize for Farmer Alton's rudeness. He's been a bit upset with the recent troubles. What was he saying about soldiers? A squad of Krondorian guardsmen came through here a few days ago. Jason, a fugitive, I think. William's company? It could be. What were the troubles the farmer was referring to? We, um, well, we've had some problems with wolves lately. Uh, what with the long winter and all. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I must be getting back to the inn. I I'm our innkeeper here, as well as mayor. Uh, you'd do well to join me, as I only keep the doors open an hour or two after sunset, and uh, I'd hate to see you trapped outside. Okay, that tells me... We need to be mindful. Oh. Hmm. Different areas. We don't want that. We just want to stay where we're at. And we don't have party option to sleep or anything. So we can't tell what time it is. But I'm guessing time's going to advance slowly each time we uh, traverse different areas. Let's just do a standard talk. Uh, please, it's uh, dangerous to stay out after dark. You'd best follow me to the inn. All right. I'm glad you decided to spend the night here. It may not be as fancy as you're used to, but I'd like you to consider it a home away from home. I can serve you an ale if you nice like. Nautical theme. Let's start off with a round. A fine idea. Let's have a round and draw one for yourself. Ah, you're being kind to spread so much cheer on this cheerless night. What's this lack of cheer? Why so cheerless? Well, uh, with the uh, wolves and all, we've lost several villages already. Wolves near the coast is unusual. Is there no one who will hunt them? Please, uh, I'm sorry I mentioned it. It's not your concern. Simply enjoy yourselves tonight, and, uh, and, and for the love of the gods, don't go outside. Give me the angle. I want to talk to this guy. There we go. Oh, the guardsmen, yes. You mentioned some guardsmen earlier. Do you know anything else about them? Yep, they stayed here a single night, two days ago, and then moved on. Do you recall who led them? A young guardsman. William, I think his name was. Same. I guess one of his trackers found the trail of their fugitive somewhere east of town. 
Very interesting. It's one more round, two, and then hit the hay. Another round, please. Ah, you do me well with your generosity. We'd like to talk some more, but it's getting late. Have you room for us tonight? You've got your pick for two silver apiece. That's a remarkably low price. The rooms are all good, but most of them are empty, and likely to remain so. I have to make do where I can. That should cover us. Thanks. Thank you. Call for me if you need anything. Let's see, can you... Booze is all he's got going on. That should cover us. Thanks. Thank you. Call for me if you need anything. Let's leave. We don't want to do that. Ooh, it's the... Is that the stairs? That's the back door, obviously. Okay. Oh, so it's like right after darkness. So we just want to sleep the whole night, essentially. If there's anything we can do... Oh, actually, this might be a time for alchemical mess. They go, oh, they, they share, but not inventories. So is there anything that would be useful? Just a big heal would be the best. A healing week is all we got. Experimentation. Mm. I'd probably look up like a wiki that tells me, and I could just free experiment, make the thing. Let's see, do we have any scrolls that might give us info? Transformation, a chaos. Okay, let's see. A recipe for magical, magical. The only recipe. That's it. So, magical blade grease. Let's see. We have magical blade grease. Magic protect. Let's see, Magical Blade Grease, so I think that one is a winner. Free Experimentation Wars? Or maybe I did already have it. There you go, Magical Blade Grease, tell me what it does. Assemble a couple. We'll rest till the morning. Four hours of rest are needed. Oh. One, two, three, four. We'll start off with four. Two magical blades. Beautiful. Hopefully we can go back up the stairs. Yeah, so he's gone. That's okay. New angle. Oh wait, what's that's the door. What's this? Oh, that's also rest, okay. A recipe for a potion unassessed. Potion of spell, great spell casting and resin repair. Great. Wait, spellcasting, great. Do have that. Resin of repair. Resin repair. Grease. I don't think we have that. Don't really need it, but... Now we've got it. Oh, a little bit more. Strong protection from fire and... Enchanted Blade. already have that. So strong fire protection. Magic blade grease protection, protection. Magic, magic protect, fire protect weak. So that is new. Strong fire protect. Are you carrying any scrolls for, okay. Cleanse. I'm looking for them recipes. Weak strike. Strong an strong antidote. You need stronger versions of antidote. Yeah, see, if it would let you not use it, that would be really cool. The 
just ditch all of his equipment. I think he'll, so let's actually, let's, I can confirm on blade grease. It'll let me use that. There's no reason. So I have to cross-reference, which sucks. Oh, fire oil, great potion spellcasting. Fire oil, great potion spellcasting. Table the contents. Fire oil or great potion of spellcasting. Spellcasting great, fire oil, fire oil, fire protect. So no fire oil, so that's one we're gonna want. What's that? It's just that. Striking strong antidote might. Striking strong antidote might. Striking strong antidote st standard and might. Striking strong antidote might. Striking strong antidote and might. I don't see any of those. So striking strong antidote and might. Scrolls. Alright, so I think that's it unless James has something. Ooh, ship raising ritual. I'll hold on to that. Chai recipe. Order for death. So that should be taken care of. Do I want to actually make any of those is the next question. Heavy healing is what I really want. Fire oils will be run out. Yeah, I should just take this this time to just identify all potentially identifiable stuff. Redistribute. I mean, I'm sure there's probably be some sort of shop in the town, but we may have some fights before we find it. A lot of poison. Weak healing. Yeah. They're gonna need something. She's got several, so yeah, we'll get at least three on James. Dark, he's got some stuff going on. How many potions can she hold? That is the question. We start causing problems. I feel like her assess or whatever is like nearly a hundred. So we've got very good odds. And if like a character died and you had to like revive them and carry all their stuff, kind of like a boulder's gate, <laughs> and to pick up all of her potions, it's like, oh yeah, we're just, we're leaving them. Alright, that we're good there. Is it reset? Nope. That's okay. Got fire. Oh, oh. Got weak heal. Yeah, I gotta use those fire oils. They're very useful and they're so much more common now at this stage of the game. Everybody's got a fire all night. Like, at least our non spellcasters. Technically, as long as he's a healer, really. A buffer. Just have him, like, oh, out of range? Toss a fire oil. Just be standard practice. So I think out here in kind of the boonies, like, we're not gonna have access to, like, even higher end gear. So all we're really going to be able to do is sell our extras and buy some basic potions. Unless there's, like, a magical wizard who has, like, oh, I actually have, like, really high-end stuff. Just because the game's at a further stage. Let's see, fire oils. No fire oils. James is going to need, like, three fire oils at least. And Solon has got... No fire arrows, but he's got plenty of unidentifieds that need to head her way. I 
so he's gonna need give him like four of them because he has, he doesn't actually have attacks <laughs> that are any good so he can stock up yeah, I guess early levels maybe you would be like okay I'm just gonna risk it I'm gonna hope this is a heal I'm just gonna like take this unidentified potion Okay, so that's all good to go. Any strongs? Weaks? Weak, 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 weak. Yeah, everybody could use a few of these heals. Especially if they're all weak. Keep some for yourself. Throw a few more fire oils. Potion of strength, I guess. You could use one. Oh, blade grease? Yeah. De Deadly poison? Same kind of deal. Quality, I mean, it's already excellent. I don't think that's possible. We could use a repair resin. Oh, yes, yeah, so this none of this is magical. Do that, so now it's uh, 400. Yeah, James never got anything good other than his sword. So now we should just rest until the morning. Or can we rest till there? Will that work? Whoa. We gotta investigate. We're heroes. Oh, what the? Is that the, the innkeeper? Or just someone with a similar character model? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was nasty. And all right, because he can life drain that and heal. I don't. We have to pick almost kind of like knock him out in a one turn smash up here. Let's see if we get uh, the color of him. Oh, he's looking pretty good actually. Vampire. He's a fucking vampire. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, he's undead. Solon's got some anti-undead stuff, so this this could be good. okay. Fire makes a lot of sense. Fire lance. Burn him. Seventy. Nice. Yeah. Don't you have like your like turn undead spell? Hand of death. Dark grasp. Bane of the Unliving. Undead victims take damage plus another one point. Okay, yeah. Bane of the Living. Unliving. Oh, that's a little bit weak. Um, all right, Kendarik, um, do you have something nice single enemy? Lightning's touch, is that? Touch five, five to 10, plus two per level. Mm. Arrows of Disruption, line of sight. They can take half damage on that. Yeah, they're not the best, just straight damage. Lightning Strike, maybe 2 to 10. That's 2 to 10 on Lightning Strike. 4 to 12. Five to 10. Yeah, Arrows of Disruption feel like the. Oh, no angle. what I wanted to do. I wanted to right click. Oh, he has no line of sight, really? Lightning strike, okay. He literally cannot move and he's he's in a bad spot here. Uh, can you buff one of our dudes? That would be nice. Ooh, Conjure Sky Warrior, that, that's a bit much. Shield of Lightning itself doesn't help. Shield of Winds, a friend, as defense. It, that's something. Give James a little buff. Yeah, he basically took half his um, health. Is, so he could probably die in this next round, which he needs to survive this because it's going to be a lot of XP. So I'll have to. Oh, I don't know if I have a good load. I didn't quick save. 
but it's the chapter beginning. I have to re-identify all those items. Oh. I should just played it safe with a heal. Is this guy? Yeah. Just fucked. Oh, now let's see if I can hit him with the arrows. Now that James is out of the way. that fails. Um, you're supposed to have like some super anti-undead shit over here, dude. Life drain. Uh, that's, that's so weak. And he's just gonna... We are, we are not equipped. We are not equipped to fight this guy. We weren't able to, so his, yeah, we're, we're basically screwed here. So we need curse to succeed. Fire is clearly effective. We could use a fire pot on him. Wait, did I give, did I not give him a fire pot? I just gave him heals. That's lame. Try your arrow disruption. Fail. Actually. I'm almost certain I gave him a fire pot, though. Yeah. Just point blank, fire pot him. Yeah, that, that, we're, we're hitting the books. Ay ay ay, ay ay ay. Investigated all those things, so now, the same thing, I've moved some stuff around with people, quick saved. And also I have, there's some protection to undead potion, which I threw into James's inventory, so that's like his first move. Because his standard attacks don't that much. Okay, we gotta sleep the rest of the night. Should be like that. Wait, why is it? Alright, so we'll investigate. Oh, I can't. Oh, and he disappeared. Oh, interesting. His so throat has been ripped out, and there's no blood near the body. I think we can safely say that wasn't a wolf. I didn't know that, know that that was an option. I will nab your gold. You can keep the club. Is that literally the... Is it, is it, it just like the mayor. These doors have been reinforced from the inside. These people are very frightened. Okay, so we got nowhere to go. That's okay. Actually, how close are we to leveling? Not terribly far with Kendark. Very far with him. Very far with her. James has got a level on the horizon. I don't know if I'm totally thrilled. I feel like we'll we'll run into him later. So we're just kind of stuck out here. Sheep seems safe. These doors have been reinforced from the inside. These people are very frightened. Okay, so we can't even rest if we want to. Can't. Oh, we can kind of go out there. Let's see if this takes us off the map. Or if there's more to this section of the town. These doors have been reinforced from the inside. These people are very frightened. This. So we're down there. So I kind of want to go, oh, that's a separate place. I'm going to go to inside the, uh, or near that big building. Where we try to map our way somewhere new. And actually there's a small path there that I saw, so might, maybe I can go along the backside. Go for there. Yeah, so that's not even selectable, interestingly. If I can investigate these animals, see if they've been fed upon. Because if it's just blood, the animals will do. But it must be human blood. Okay, that's as far as I can go. And yeah, I can go from there. 
All right, so I know cross. Oh, so this we don't know the name of those those places. That's the other side of town. Let's go to this hut over here. I can do. Oh, we can rest out here, though. It's that time. I, I don't think that is ideal. This is considered the witch's house. That's what this place is. It's like a... What? Are we gonna have to slaughter the children? Warrior level five? Attacks with vampire life drain. Not good. I think we just start with the the most dangerous one, this little boy. Five warrior is known. Fire damage is good against undead. Okay. How far can he move? He might have, like attack first round. Oh, oh, scampering quick. Alright. And we really have to focus these guys down. So disruption, I believe, is his best single enemy attack. Alright, we can do this. Fire Lance, that little brat. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, do you have a good anti undead? I could just battle bless at this point. Divine armor is that a single person? Undead take damage plus another one point from each of the caster. So that's kind of a fixed. I'd like it to multiply ideally. All the unliving the spell of that will controls the will of the undead. Those who don't resist will join the. Oh, yeah. he needs to level up. He can get some good stuff. And of death, here born, life drain, dire grasp, cleanse the blood. Throw down the curse. So she's less likely to land a shot. We have no problem murdering these little children. Oh, miss. Very nice. Let's see how much damage if we just whack her in the face with the sword. So it's about 30-ish damage with a, uh, oh, sword's better. If we get, if we get a crit. The three ten shots would be right around 30. Good work, James. And none of them are going to talk about this? Alright, nothing's happening yet. Let's try down here. This is considered the pulpit. This looks like a woodshed or something. Crypt. Oscar Grunwald. May his wait upon this wheel be briefer. May his next day be longer. There's a rose on that one. That dude. This seems like the this this is quick save territory. To walk into the crypt to be like multiple vampires at night, like So like, Vampire Life Dream, level seven. Unknown with little boy. Well, his standard attacks seem to be doing pretty good. Yeah, we get a nice sweet 30 in there. It'd be interesting like, if they're just mind controlled and we've just massacred the town. 
Uh, I think you can end your turn. And you need to... Yes, we don't spare the children. It's not that great. 26. Can you reach him? You can. Good. Good work. Undead is not living. Maybe we should come back in daylight. Probably right. It's just like it's... The cast is just kind of chilling there. I can't view party map right now. So I'm presuming that time is advancing as we travel to the different locations. At least by an hour. I can't do it there. Yeah, so this is the graveyard, crossroads, pulpit. The other main part of town. I mean... I should also save. With the quick save. Because this is like... It could be a lot of action over here. Still dark. Not being attacked straight up just yet. Ooh. Will at least give us the lock option if we get close. No. Uh, that, that looks like a fight. If we really want to approach those people at night. I'd say no. Because we're just... Kill the villagers, but at the same time... Let me just do a quick save in case this is like a... All vamp reckless encounter. What's going on here? Nathan, come to us. We miss you so. You should be with us, Nathan. It seems like a trap. You should have died at the woodcutters. There's no need to run, Nathan. No need to run anymore. Oh, uh oh. Workman, very strong, skillful with vampire life drain. Yeah, I'm taking on the first guy. Hits. Good, good. Oh, watch out here. Okay, look. See, I think that other guy, he's like a super powerful vampire. These are just like weaklings. Yeah, like only five damage, not 60. <laughs> Alright, there's gotta be something better than arrows of disruption. 4 to 12 per. Okay. Or just his level that low, maybe? I guess. Go down to 4. Trollish blood. None of those sound like attacks. Line of sight. Twenty five percent of total health at the end of every combat round for the duration of the battle. We'll heal. Oh, and that's okay, so that's like a healing spell. I foes enfeebled. Strength cut in half. Thunderclap. Ride the lightning. Lightning strike. Two per caster level. That's not as good. Yeah, really, that, that Fire Lance just seems to be the best. Yeah. Is he, is he only a level 2? He's like level 4 or 5, I thought. So why is that only doing that much? Whatever. Whatever. Living. Let's do that for now. Well, yeah, I think Fire Pot is a better high damage option. And if he, oh, he's gonna have his defensive strike. Oof. It's okay. 
tracking her down is more important. And I can probably reach him with a half attack. Not quite. Guard thyself. You're gonna attack us too? Kind of runs in from out of frame. Thank you, strangers, for your help. But you must return to your homes before it's too late. What are these creatures? What were those things? Fiends! Things from the outer darkness to drain the blood and souls from the living. And they were once my friends. Perhaps you'd better explain yourself. Almost two seasons ago, a young family moved into the old woodcutter shack. Uh. The father seemed a decent sort, hard-working, though a bit strange. He seemed more interested in local legend and the graveyard than was proper, and he rarely graced Father Roland's church. But we paid him little mind until the Night of Screams. Night of Screams. Let's put the friends first. What happened to your friends? The men who went to the shack with me and Malcolm, the ones that didn't make it, they became the creatures. And now they want me to be one of them. The night of screams? About a season ago, on a new moon night, we heard terrible screams coming from the shack. No one was willing to venture out there by night, but come morning, some of our women were fearing for the wife and child. So a bunch of us got together and went out to the shack. I'm telling you, I wish I'd never set foot on that path. As we walked out there, it got darker and darker, like night was falling in the middle of the day. What kind of magic could create something like this? Dark magic, of course. The place reeked of it. It felt like something terrible was watching us. The other men went into the shack, but I... I was nervous and held back a moment. Just as my friend Malcolm stepped under the doorway, something jumped out of the darkness and tore those men apart like rag dolls. I only got a glimpse, but it'll haunt my dreams forever. Oh, these attackers. What did you tell me? Do you know what attacked your friends? Or where it came from? I was too far back to really see it. Malcolm may have seen more. I remember the thing's face and... I remember the glow. The glow? There was something in the shack. Something that cast an evil glow, like from a pit of hell. What about this woodcutter? Did you ever find out what happened to the woodcutter and his family? They must have been the first to fall prey to these dark powers. Or they are the dark powers themselves. What happened then at the shack? Not a one of them made it out, except Malcolm and me. We ran all the way back to town, and I spent the day drinking myself into sleep. I thought I was safe, until night fell, and they came for me. What about Malcolm? Where's he? Is he dead too? Do you know where Malcolm is now? He's dead! He thought the true source of this foulness was in the graveyard, and they caught him there. And they changed them into one of them. But I know where their power truly comes from. Who came for you? Them! The creatures you just fought! My barricades keep them out for now, but I know someday they'll get me and make me one of them. That's the worst part, you know. At first I didn't realize who they were, but I recognize them now. What about the source? Is it, are you gonna say the witch again? Do you have an actual clue? Where do you suppose that power comes from? It's the witch! She's behind this, and someone has to destroy her! Do not worry, friend, and have faith. 
We will crush her evil like we have destroyed the evil that plagued you. Are you mad? You've done nothing here tonight. Why do you say that? Don't you think I've fought these things before? Each time I killed them, they returned. In the darkness, they can't be destroyed. Now run quickly back to your home before they return and devour you as well. Interesting. So, we're not knocking off villagers unless they're already dead. We're just temporarily putting them back in the grave. That's the woodcutter's hut, clearly. The witch was gone. Should be there in the daytime. Well, actually, first, let me get my quick save. Uh, or I guess I could could look over. I came in look the, both those ways, so I don't think there's much to explore here. Let's see if there's a new screen unlocked. Okay, this boat can't go in it maybe in the daytime we could do something there so all that's left is this woodcutter's hut which seems like take care there's magic at work here guys this seems like a bad idea hey oh ambush from behind is he gonna get the first turn oh he does oh goes after right who I want him to Use that shield. Punch a dude with a shield. Come on. Ooh. He's got a little bit of resistance going on. Oh, but he's not super tough. Might need to take him down. Good, good. Yeah, I guess so little XP for... I guess these versions of them are not like that first guy. Yeah, I feel like quick saving just before entering this room. Oh, it's that's tight. Oh, what the fuck? There's a fireplace thing? Unassessed documents, you need to assess these for us. Then I'll hand them to James. Woodcutter's journal. James is the one that does the reading. Tools in this backwater village truly believe I am in a simpler woodcutter, only pausing at their natural resilience to trust strangers. But my wife and child quickly laid their fears to rest. I don't know whether to feel overjoyed or insulted. I have labored so long to discover the Dightstones, Dightstones location and to decipher been more frustrating than anticipated. The child's sacrifice proved simple, but there is more to this puzzle than I earlier believed. The tombs are easy enough to find. The temple is well hidden. If the temple was never meant to be discovered, why was the Nightstone so easy to replenish? There's something I'm missing. What if the door only opens? Stone is prepared. The sacrifice was large, but necessary. I worry about Mel Melanie, though. She tries of this charade. She tires of this charade and exhibits some signs of consciousness at the sacrifice. I do not wish to kill her. The beset basest lore I have uncovered states that the final pieces of the puzzle lie within. The sarcophagi of the last priest. I hope that which lies with the tomb is truly something. Then that, like, creepy looking baby. The fuck is this? That looks like we should grab that, although it will cause a lot of problems. I've never seen anything like this. I've heard of things like this from the archivist at Sarth. Artifacts of black magic that bring forth the ancient darkness. You take it? Assess it. You have 100% assess, so... 
A gem. This heart-shaped stone glows with an eldritch power. Legends tell of its ability to create a magical night even during full daylight, a mystic tactic to be used against the power of the undead. Magical night even during full daylight. Tactic used against the power of the... Wait, that seems like in support of the undead. Hmm. Alright, well, I think we've got it. I think there's this. That's been looted. We, we saw the fireplace. We got out of there. Unless there's some tiny nook somewhere in here. We're good to go. Let's see if we're attacked as we leave. That's very likely. The glow is gone. Accomplished something. It seems the crossroads kind of feels the best place to be. Though we could easily be waylaid here too. These doors have been reinforced yeah. from the inside. These people are very frightened. Can we go camp out over here somewhere instead? Or just no crossroads allowed? No. Let's go to the witch's hut or house. She is a full on house here. Still can't go in, but we can rest. I said we just rest till morning. If we're not attacked, great. And I'm gonna call it here before we talk to this boy and see what mysterious things are happening at the witch's hut. So catch y'all next time.